He saw the best in me When everyone else around Could only see the worst in me Welcome to the Jeremiah Interdenominational Missionary Church where Jesus is Lord. And tonight we have a performer that's on here. She, you've seen her before. Um, she's a singer and she does a lot of things. So tonight I just thought that we would be blessed so that she could bless you about how many gifts. God gives us gifts and we take them for granted, okay? And I just thought it would be a good thing for you to see her in a different light of just being a songstress, a psalmist, um, and okay. singer, writer, mm -hmm. um, to see that God has given her and her family many, many gifts. So I want her to introduce herself, and then after she does that, then I asked her, would she pray, you know, for us, the, the new year, happy new year, everybody. Happy new year. And pray for <laughs> us in the world and things to come. Okay, so introduce yourself to them again. Well, I'm Micah Chevalier, uh, singer, songwriter, uh, vocal coach, um, performance coach, and uh, actress. And, um, and a thespian. And, and a thespian, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, and I, I actually sing multiple genres, including gospel. Mm -hmm. um, most of my music, a lot of my music is actually inspirational without having that label. It is. Um, but that's, that's purposeful as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess I'll, uh, you know. Yeah, because, you know, uh, it's people out there that have so many gifts and they never get an opportunity to even be acknowledged or to have been a place where they can tell somebody without it sound like I'm being mm -hmm. bragged. Yeah. You know, bragging about myself. Well, this is where I want you to brag about yourself. Okay? <laughs> uh, but if you could say, since this is a new year, this is 2024, mm -hmm. um, if I could get you to say a prayer for the world and for us and, the, and our people, to. if you don't mind. Okay. Not at all. Okay. No. All right. So at so, home, um, would you please just bow your heads or take mm -hmm. a moment just to pause, okay, um, so that we can listen to the words that are being spoken to us, okay? All right. Well, Lord, we come to you today and ask you for, ask you f just for, for your guidance into this new year. We thank you. We want to praise you for all the things you have given us. And for all those people that are going through struggles, that you um, help us help them walk through their troubles. And you know, get to where they're supposed to be in life. Um, you know, we know that all things can be done through you if we just listen, listen for you, listen to you. And uh, we ask that you continue to bestow those blessings that you see fit on everyone. Um, you know, those who are searching for who they're supposed to be, those who know somewhat who they're supposed to be, but have questions. You know, we want, we want them to come to you freely so that you can bestow your gifts upon them as well. Um, we wanna thank you and praise you for everything that you have done for us, even through the troubled times, through the pandemic, through everything. And as we move forward in this new year, that we are appreciative of everything that you have given us and everything you are about to do in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you so much for that, thank you. You're welcome. Um, because, you know, prayer changes things. And um, I, you know, just, and, and then before the show we were talking about, it's still, I mean, like the end of the year, it was every other week I was going to a funeral mm -hmm. or somebody was sick, you know, and, and then, um, when we when we were talking and we heard you, we heard mm -hmm. um, Tom, you know, talking about it just yeah. seems like every time you pick up a phone there's somebody sick or they're passing mm -hmm. away or something. You I know. was asked to do to do a funeral a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just been one thing after the other, like you mm -hmm. said. 
And his doctor's not letting up, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, since we have this new thing, you, um, it's, it, it's either the flu or it's COVID. They said that COVID was in our area, you know, running rapid. Mm -hmm. uh, but then when you talk to people that have actually gone to the doctors and stuff, they tell them that they, it's the flu, you know. It's a, it's a version of the flu. Now the flu got numbers, okay. <laughs> You know, COVID, COVID started out with numbers. It's been around forever. So we know it's been around longer mm -hmm. than 19, COVID-19, okay? Right. Um, but um, but now the flu, the flu has numbers. I, and I had to kind of laugh at that when, not, not that the person that was sick, but the mere fact that they said that they told her that she, they had flu numbers, so-and-so and so-and-so. And, so and, so. and I, to myself, I kind of struggled. I said, oh, now we're putting uh -huh. numbers on the flu. <laughs> um, so, you know, we need to pray for each other and keep each other lifted uh, because there's so many deaths. And, it's, and at one point during the year or the last two years, it's been all ages. Yeah. And, you know, from little kids to teenagers mm -hmm. to, you know, young adults to adults to the seniors. And what I got caught up in during the towards the end of the year, because I, I was seeing all that all during the year, but it was like my grandmother used to say that, you know, people died in December in threes, you know, and um, mm -hmm. that was just an old folks saying because right. they say God starts calling in his, his troops, you know, mm -hmm. at the end of the year so that the new year starts off fresh with, I guess that's where the new with year's new baby life came and, in, you yeah. know, because new life is born and the mm -hmm. old ones are passed away so that new life can be created, you know, mm -hmm. at the first of the year. Um, and, you know, it's just that I've just seen that um, toward the end of the year, it was mostly older people that were passing away. And, um, you know, and, and it kind of like affected me and my family as well. And so, you know, I, I just pray for everybody. And we had a text message that they sent out. Mm -hmm. And it was like on New Year's Eve, and they were just saying, oh, yeah, you know, I asked for whatever. Girl, like out on that text message. <laughs> and by the time I finished naming everything before 12 o'clock, right, everything that I wanted them to pray about, mm -hmm. it was like, oh, my God. All they could say was amen, you know, because the Lord just put me in my spirit that, you mm -hmm. know, these are the things that we need to look out for. These are the things that we need to pray for because prayer does change things. It does. And I, and I really appreciate you taking that opportunity to pray with us, you know, because he said if two were together, if and we agree on any done. one thing, that yeah. you would always be in the midst of us, you know, and um, and that would be granted unto us, you know. So that's why I just think it's so much. So I told him it was like 20 people on the thing. I said, man, I said, if I get <laughs> two people to agree with me, I don't care. Right. You know, because it's 15 people on this, you know, 15, it was 20 mm -hmm. people. It started out with 15, then it turned to 20, okay. Mm -hmm. um, that... I said, okay, well then we really got a, a good agreement, you know, that's going on and, mm -hmm. and, I, and I haven't seen that. I'm saying that, you know, when you send out text messages, if you don't have time to, to, to talk, uh, my son says, well, you don't have to answer every text message that comes through, right? And I said, oh yeah, that's true. But at least acknowledge to the person, at least I saw it, you know, because everybody doesn't have red, mm -hmm. you know, um, or they don't want red, it says delivered. So um, for my Christian friends, I said, just say amen. Mm -hmm. That's it. You ain't got to say nothing else. Whether you agree or not, just say mm -hmm. amen. amen. Because that means it is finished. It is done. done. It is over with, okay? And so when this text, I said that because some of those people that I had said that to, man, then that's when I just started seeing all the amens come in. I said, oh, yeah, David was on that other text. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, right, amen, amen. <laughs> So God is good, and we just have to have faith and trust in Him, and um, and the gifts that He gives to us, we should not take them for granted. And mm -hmm. I just am so amazed that my family is a very gifted family as well. Mm -hmm. I just don't talk about them like that, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just blessed when I meet people like you, and I see that there are oh. other gifted people yes. like you that have gazillions of people in their family, they're so gifted, okay? <laughs> and so, um, and your aunt, I hear Audrey doesn't get paid for it, but she is a good, um, what you call a PR person. Oh, yes. You know? <laughs> well, I think I think that her daughter, Allison, mm -hmm. my cousin Allison, gets some of that from her. 
Oh, okay. Too. Okay. Okay. She she is she's an amazing. She's a a mompreneur. <laughs> I will say. But yeah, she she does a lot. Yeah. In terms of media and and um mm -hmm. the uh liter literary world. Mhm. Mm I think she gets some of that from her mom. So the day I have you back, I'm, I'm quite sure she does because it's just so amazing because, you know, what we get ready to talk about when we left the studio after you sang. Mm -hmm. um, and tell them about your song real quick because uh, I don't think they, I don't know, if, I don't think they saw it, but you could tell us about the last, your new release. Okay, so uh -huh. um, the newest release is part of a compilation called the Virgo Lounge. Mm -hmm. Um, it's comprised of a group of independent artists. We are all um, have our have our own different sounds, different talents vocally, and um, we decided to put an, a, a compilation together. So it's a um, all original music, um, and there are about there's six of us. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Spearheaded by Miss Gwendolyn Collins, who's up in the left-hand corner um, with the headphones on. Um, she's the curator of the Virgo Lounge. And myself, Isma, um, who is multilingual, um, Blaze at the bottom, Alicia Glover, and David Hammett. So the six of us got together. We did backgrounds for each other. We pray together. <laughs> One of the things that's important to us, David just got his minister's license too, um, to throw that in there. But we no, all no, have no. separate, separate talents, but we come together as the Virgo Lounge and have done some amazing things. Mm -hmm. um, and it's because of our friendship and our um, love for each other. Um, that's you, that's you, that's me as well. <laughs> um, so that's one of my other singles. Um, it might be you, um, mm -hmm. done by EC3 Vibe, mm -hmm. but the single with uh, Virgo Lounge is called "Tried It," okay. and it was the last song that my significant other and um, I worked on together with mm -hmm. Gwendolyn. So we decided to put it on the project mm -hmm. um, in honor of him, and uh, it, it's amazing. It's uh, you. You all can go to the Virgo Lounge. Dot Bandcamp. Com. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, the whole project is on uh, Bandcamp. Okay. And mm -hmm. so we know that you sing, but I don't think that people realize, I know that you mentioned it. I, I think on or you kind of thought that I missed it. So mm -hmm. when we got outside, she, she, <laughs> she brought it up. You know, yep. Mm -hmm. um, about this other thing that you do, right? And so I said, oh, to myself, you know, that would really be a great thing because of people going back to college yeah and they don't know about scholarships mm -hmm. they don't know that music scholarships are a free ride mm -hmm. you know if you're talented enough you pay. I'm a product of music scholarship mm -hmm. so and they don't know and mm -hmm. then sometimes the parents don't want to ask because they don't want their child to get a music scholarship they've ever have have a football scholarship well, and I say that's crazy because that money's <laughs> sitting out there okay I mean, when I was working in yeah. career services I said, that money's sitting out there mm -hmm. for you to go out there and get and um, historically black colleges oh they love giving that money away but nobody talks about it mm -hmm. you know see and, they have to give it away or else they'll lose it right people don't talk about that either right absolutely mm -hmm. and so when your aunt says something about oh you doing in my soul in my spirit oh, mm -hmm. you know yeah you know we have you come back so you could talk about that part of your life mm -hmm. you know um you know doing theater we know you write and you do other things but being in the theater mm -hmm. um you know because they're taking the arts out of the schools you know you know mm -hmm. you don't have those plays in fact let me say one of our producers here um sent us an invitation dave Sachs is his name mm -hmm. and he has his own show at nighttime and he sent us a invitation to they did their Christmas play on Zoom. Oh, wow. Okay, so that people could be able to see it. And I thought that was a really neat thing, you know, yeah. that they sent out an invitation to people to be able to see a play. A play, yeah. That the church had performed oh, on Zoom. Wonderful. Okay, mm -hmm. and so, 
so that that was after the fact right that about you and mm -hmm. I said okay so Lord you lead me in the right direction with this because here's Dave Sachs out the clear blue sky mm -hmm. sending us you know an invitation to see their Christmas it was a, he said it was a small production but mm -hmm. he just wanted us to see to you see know it. what his church was doing yeah. and, and and they and they created the play okay oh, nice. so it was it was it was really nice of him to do mm -hmm. that um, that might be something that you might be able to do. But anyway. <laughs> um, Look, I am open. <laughs> you know. And so because that was <clears throat> after the fact, it just made me know that people needed to know mm -hmm. that you did things other than sing and perform yeah. with these other artists that you've been with. And, you know, one of the so things, tell us. Yeah, one of the things that I love doing, and I didn't mention before, um, as part of being a performance coach, Mm -hmm. I've had the opportunity to work with some kids who are uh, preparing for auditions for college, preparing mm -hmm. for auditions for high school, mm -hmm. or or preparing for auditions, period. Like a, um, a couple of them were preparing for auditions that they were going to in New York. Mm -hmm. And um, I love it. Mm -hmm. I love working with kids. They are such an open palette. It's, mm -hmm. it's you know, it's not even funny. It's just, you get to see them open up mm -hmm. and blossom. Mm -hmm. And that to me is, is rewarding. Mm -hmm. And it, it just, it feels good. Mm -hmm. and, and God so. gives us many gifts. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's, it's so many, and he doesn't have to give you one gift. He, he, he like you, you have many gifts that he's given you. And they all kind of bounce off of each other, yeah. but it's still, somebody else might only have one of those gifts, you know, mm -hmm. and he's been able to give you and your family many gifts, and, and my family too. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all, because y'all say, y'all don't never <laughs> say nothing about me. But y'all do, I, I, I have a very gifted family as well. And so I, I, I'm so proud when I see you oh. and your family and all, all I said, Dad, she really need to come over and talk to some of these people over in my family. <laughs> we but, all uh, feed into each other though. Uh, yeah, the, um, but I just think that it's so wonderful that this place that you're, you know, doing theater in now is open in Silver Spring. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I want you to tell us about it okay. and the plays that you've been in. Um, and so if you can, if I want them to know that about sure. you. Sure. Okay. So um, Live Gar Theater is a part of a theater consortium at the Silver Spring Black Box mm -hmm. right on Colesville Road. And um, it's spearheaded by Dr. Wanda Whiteside, mm -hmm. who's absolutely amazing. Um, her creative mind is, is crazy bananas. <laughs> I'll say it that way. Um, it's a gift. But I've, it is, it's a wonderful gift. Mm -hmm. And um, the first production, you know, she's, she's been working with, you know, my Aunt Judy, my um, cousin James Curtis, um, my cousin Elaine has been in, you know, some of the stuff. Um, my first production was this production we did, Ain't Misbehaving, um, at the Black Box. And it was so much fun and amazing. Mm -hmm. um, this next one is the one I'm currently working on with her, which is The Window King. Um, that's my little sister there and James Curtis. Um, the Window King is an amazing play that she is turning into a musical. Mm -hmm. And um, a good friend of mine got a good friend of mine involved, so he's the music director. Um, I am the vocal coach. Um, this is another one of the scenes where um, the the couple is uh, they're fighting, they're boxing, mm -hmm. um, and not to give too much away, but the story, the whole story, is really a dream sequence, and it's mm -hmm. about this apparition that appears in the couple's window, mm -hmm. that the whole neighborhood comes together to you know, they're praying to it. They're like, oh my gosh, you know, just kind of like this, this image of the Madonna and the baby. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a very powerful play and an amazing piece of work. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm happy to be a part of it. Um, Wanda has given me a part in the play, but I'm also working, you know, with the cast vocally. Mm -hmm. And that's been absolutely amazing. It's been a blessing. Yeah. Um, and and it, it really is a blessing because mm -hmm. we have so many people that are from this area that people don't even know yeah. that 
um, people originated here in the DMV. Um, and, you know, until somebody tells them, you mm -hmm. know, and they've been watching them on television for years or seeing them perform for years right. and they didn't even That's know they, they were from right here, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, I just think that it's, it's great that we're able to see a person in live and living color that, mm -hmm. yeah, they don't, they can say, yeah, that lady was on the church show. She was on an end, yeah. <laughs> she sings, yeah. She, she's up in, the, up in the theater in Silver Spring, you know? Mm -hmm. um, because they closed, they closed down so many of the theaters. I know. At one point. And, and mm -hmm. then, like I said, they just snatched them right out of the schools, you know? And um, I'm just glad to see that different people are trying to get um, the theaters open or mm -hmm. entertainment lounges open again yeah. in different areas in, in in the in the Maryland area, okay? Because mm -hmm. there's another guy was here and he um, is already off of Route One, and, and they they got the license mm -hmm. changed so that his club could actually have live artists gotcha. in there. Gotcha. Um, but they had to go through changes to get that license. Approved. It's really hard to get and to keep those licenses. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of it now has to do with like me being in music. Mm -hmm. I, I know about it because mm -hmm. <laughs> that's another part of, I'm a part of the Recording Academy as well. Mm -hmm. So I know about some of the laws, some of the things that they have in place. Mm -hmm. um, they have certain things that um, establishments have to get licenses to allow musicians and other artists to play because especially if you're playing your original music mm -hmm. um, in an establishment you want to get credit for that as well mm -hmm. so you get credit as like you know through BMI or ASCAP or whatever the your whatever you're associated with mm -hmm. um, whatever music entity um, you get royalties off of your music off of what you perform and some of the clubs have to have they have to have licenses in order for us to play so that we are able, so they can track it and we're able to collect our royalties. Mm -hmm. And you know, it all works in sync together. Some, some, and it's not cheap. So some of the club owners don't want to do it. Because mm -hmm. this um, guy actually, yeah. he actually fought up in Laurel mm -hmm. to, um, because that particular part of Laurel was so closed um, mm -hmm. to people. We'll just leave it like that. Yeah. And um, they were able to go, and, and they fought mm -hmm. it, and with some other legislators that were running for office right. at the time, that actually helped him to get that law passed. And he's able to now, you know, okay, perform an artist mm -hmm. in his club. And um, now, you know, you, you talked about Silver Spring, um, where, you know, it was a, a theater. I mean, not only that, they're closing the theaters down, mm -hmm. okay? I'm talking about the movie theaters, but right. citizens go just to go watch the movies, okay, right. on the big screen. Yeah. And um, and it's just a shame because, once again, that's an art because those people that you see on television and on the big screen, those are actors and actresses, okay? That's how they get paid. Yeah. yeah. And so it's just sad. So to hear that you were in Silver Spring mm -hmm. and that y'all actually do theater in Silver Spring that yeah. I thought that it was a great thing for us to be able to tell other people mm -hmm. about it um, because we need yeah. to do something here in Bowie, um, you know, um, so that we can have these young people that go to Bowie State. You, mm -hmm. you were telling us in another show something about something that, about yeah, Bowie State. Yeah, so um, my, my friend Eric, um, who I performed with for years on the road, mm -hmm. his daughter, um, his daughter Erica is in the music program mm -hmm. at Bowie State, mm -hmm. doing extremely well. Mm -hmm. um, so proud of her. Mm -hmm. um, they they have an incredible music program. Mm -hmm. Incredible. I went to a couple of that, not just one, but I went to a couple of the programs over the holidays. Mm -hmm. And you know, when I saw the choir, I saw um, the director's jazz ensemble, and just amazing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and they amazing. need to know that. I mean, yeah. you know, people here in in this area mm -hmm. need to know that their children can, their young adults. Yeah. When you go to college, you're a young adult. They don't want to be called children mm -hmm. anymore. Okay. Um, that they should know that there are music scholarships at Bowie State College. Yeah. And that they can apply for them and get a full ride. You know, with their skill mm -hmm. set that God has given them as a gift. It's, yeah. Everybody can't sing. Everybody can't act. Exactly. You know, some of us wish we could. You know, <laughs> but we I'm can't. trying to convince a, a, a recent 
new friend of mine mm -hmm. to come out of her comfort zone mm -hmm. and and uh, sing because she can sing. Mm -hmm. My gosh, this girl can sing. Mm -hmm. And she comes to a lot of my performances that I do locally up in uh, Baltimore County. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, one of those things I think that we are all pushed to do as, as artists, fellow humans, fellow Christians, mm -hmm. is to encourage mm -hmm. our friends and mm -hmm. our loved ones to go for, to go for it. Mm -hmm. Because you know? God's given them a gift. To say, yes, look, David, God gave you the gift. Use it. Yeah. <laughs> right. David used to blow kisses to him and sing in the mountains. Right. You know? and, I mean, you got a whole scripture. You got a whole book <laughs> about David, just how he used to just sing mm -hmm. to the Lord, you know, yeah. and sing him praises and, you know, and to the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's a gift. It and is. a gift from God, you know. It's a wonderful gift, and yeah. I am thankful for it every single day. Day. And I am so blessed to have you in my company to even know that now, you know, um, that you're actually trying to inspire young people to get out there and use that other gift it's that they important. have. It's important. You know, to, to act and, mm -hmm. and bring things to life, yeah. you know, on stage. And, and this play that you're doing was a, was a play, mm -hmm. but y'all turned it into a musical, yeah. right? Wanda, Wanda wanted to turn it into a musical, so she got permission from the playwriter. Um, she actually had one of her... Um, Boston Conservatory classmates because mm -hmm. she went to Boston Conservatory as well. Mm -hmm. um, she had her to create the the scores for the play. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful music. Mm -hmm. It's like this was a play. Now, mm -hmm. now it's a musical. And That's talent. A musical. That's a gift. Yeah. You know, and and we have children that we have at home that have so many gifts, but nobody to push them. The school system's not pushing them. You know, because of the arts programs. Sometimes from the lower levels up. Yeah. At the high school, we're missing them. And 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 it's not like it was at one point. I don't um, know because I'm a product of that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. DC Artworks. All of the. There were some other youth programs and. Baltimore as well mm -hmm. but yeah I grew up and I had a summer job doing what I loved every summer performing mm -hmm. and and you used to have some in the parks yeah you know where you mm -hmm. had local area young people that yeah. would go out there and play exactly. and you know do musical scores in the in the park yeah. you know and um, in DC yeah. you know DC recreation around. was live and very active it sure in was. the in the 80s and the 90s yeah. and uh, I'm just sad to have seen a lot of the programs go away. Go, go away. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad to have you here tonight with us, and I'm so glad that you were able to, you know, talk to us about, you know, the gift of being having a gift. I'm so <laughs> glad I could come back <laughs> and to pray. And I can't wait till you get to talk to Wanda because. She's amazing. Yeah, we're going to have it yeah. next month. We'll have her next month to come back so that we can Alrighty. actually see her in live. And I look color. forward to that one. Yeah, <laughs> and so that we, we, and you too, you know, you, you have to come back with her. And um, we want to just wish all of you guys a happy new year. We want to make sure mm -hmm. that um, everybody is safe. So be aware of your surroundings, okay? Wear a mask when mm -hmm. you go in the store. You know, please, um, if you know you have COVID, please make sure you wear a mask when you're around other people. Um, if your children come home with it, make sure that they let the school system know, mm -hmm. the teachers know that the children have COVID. It's so important to do that because we don't want to have another epidemic where they shut us down. And on right. that note, we're going to say good night. Good night. And we're going to turn around and say Happy New Year to Happy everybody. Happy New Year. Okay, <laughs> be safe out there, guys. Okay. Yeah, because it's just really, really bad. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're feeding America.